Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you be, at any corner of the world, it is BMX Academy that is calling you. You, the daughters of the Florence of Nightingale, and the disciples' tutelage of doctors, and all healthcare professionals, BMAX greets you. Now, are you an OET aspirant? Well, we have conducted a survey among the aspirants and we have come across certain uh, values which we are going to, which we analyze, and that is the why of this. Friends, BMAX Academy is an international English teaching educational institution and research center imparting international edu English to address all the tests that might come, for example, IELTS, OET, PT and a host of others. And as a part of the CSR, now we are going to uh, release a series of videos, video lessons on a subtest that is supposed to be very hard or excruciatingly hard for many candidates. That is what we are going to, we are going to call it title or call it as OET Writing Made Easy. This is a series of uh, videos. Now before that, at the outset, let's have a brief introduction. What is um, OET like? Then we can, from next volume onwards, it will be aired every alternate days. What you can do is subscribe, register with uh, BMAX, and this is mainly meant for uh, those who are not the bona fide students of uh, BMAX. This is for the students and aspirants who are going to take OET, and therefore what you can do is register with us, or you watch it and uh, you can uh, subscribe to it and follow us. Moreover, writing, what we are going to give you in maybe about some 10 videos is only uh, mix up 40%. The remaining 60% is feedback, correction, how you are writing, what are those things coming there, what do you require. That will be done free, of course, for you as a part of, as I told you earlier, CSR. Now, let us look what is uh, OET. OET is Occupational English Test. That is an international English proficiency test for healthcare professionals. There are 12 doctors, nurses, dentists, physiotherapists, uh, and go on with the till the vet. So this is an international. Here, this is a test, not an examination. There is a lot of difference between the two. Test is, uh, you take for example, what is an examination? Uh, think about your university days. Uh, take any subject, for example, anatomy or physiology or commuter, community, community medicine. All of them had a syllabus. And when you go to take the test or examination, the questions will be based on that syllabus framework. But, However, in uh, a test, there is no syllabus. They can ask anything from anywhere. This test has four subtests: LRWS, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Let's have a quick look at what is the first one, listening. 
that is the first subtest. Now, it has three parts. That is part A, part B, and part C. Part A, it has uh, two consultation with a patient. That I'm talking uh, with, uh, with a uh, consultation with a, and this listening and reading are common for all persons. Whereas writing and speaking are person specific. For example, what that what do you mean by that is uh, doctors have a, a separate uh, speaking, a different one. Nurses will have a different nursing, but uh, and the writing also. Whereas listening is common and reading common for all the subtests, all the professionals. So here, listening, whatever be your profession, whether you are an ophthalmologist or speech therapist or an radiologist or a physiotherapist, now you are listening are the same. So your part A is going to be uh, for about uh, 24, 15 minutes. Part A, 15 minutes, and you'll have 24 questions, 25 mark. And it is two consultations between a patient and a doctor, or a nurse and a doctor, or a physiotherapist and uh, a candidate. So that is uh, two consultation. That is part A. Part B, you have six short dialects, and it is also 15 minutes. And there are six questions, six marks. Part C is 15 mark again, and you have uh, 12 questions and 12 marks. So this is a brief analysis of what is going to be your listening. Now, reading <laughs> is perhaps uh, the most uh, difficult one, hard one. What many people, many candidates come and they tell. They say it is very hard, sir. Don't worry. B Max has made it as simple and easy as easy can. Don't worry at all. Don't fret and uh, panic. Uh, uh, B Max can make it easy for you. Don't worry at all. Because uh, <laughs> I think I, sometimes I tell my students also. Uh, the way the design of the English reading, uh, the OET reading is made, those who are very weak at reading can get the full score. So don't worry at all. Now, reading, it is a two test, unlike uh, uh, listening. Listening A immediately, B immediately, which is a one stretch it is. Whereas reading, first they'll have A part. That is, uh, for 15 minutes, you have to answer 20 questions based on four texts. Text, they call it text. Text A, text B, text C, and text D. Based on them, there will be a question one to seven. You have to write uh, one letter. Then uh, eight to two, up to 20, uh, the three parts they have divided into. And you have only 15 minutes, mind you. Uh, you don't have uh, even one minute for a question. Less than one minute and that is the first part when that is all they'll take the book back booklet back no not to take they snatch the booklet from you and give you the second booklet and question uh, book uh, that is book, booklet come uh, answer uh, booklet a uh, question come answer and uh, then for uh, remaining questions that is six part b and uh, 8 plus 8, C. C has two texts. So total, six questions from B. C has 6 plus 6. And for a whole, you have uh, 24 questions to be answered in 45. That means average, you have two minutes. Here, many students say the C part is difficult. Don't worry at all. We guarantee you, or we won't say to that extent, saying that uh, we can make it very easy because we have researched so much and made it uh, our part to see as easy as easy can be. So here, that is reading. Uh, so total, you have uh, one hour, 15 minutes for part A and uh, remaining 45 minutes for part uh, B and C together. <laughs>